Well, food service in our school systems is something some people may take for granted. Today, a group from Guatemala toured Bemidji Schools to see how a standardized food service program works. Josh Peterson was there as they visited Bemidji High School. Bemidji Area Schools is not only known for a quality education, but also for a quality and healthy school food system. Bemidji High School provided an educational opportunity for a group from Guatemala who spent part of their day touring the school's kitchen and cafeteria facilities. We received a request for proposal from USDA for um, training a delegation of Guatemalans on um, school feeding practices and so we responded to the request and USDA approved our proposed tour. For Bemidji Area Schools, today was not only the district's opportunity to educate, but to showcase why they are a gold award winning school system in food service. We really pride ourselves on the farm to school participation we have as well as our school gardens that we've replenished this year started back up our big gardens as well as our second chance breakfast and our breakfast opportunities for all our school has really grown in participation. Currently in Guatemala there is no standardized school food system which is why the Guatemalan delegation comes from the Ministry of Finance, the Ministry of Agriculture and the Ministry of Education. The Guatemalan delegation came to Bemidji area schools with many questions in mind ranging from how to feed such a large number of students and how to implement such a program. And it's the answers to those questions this group hopes to take back home. We don't have the meal plans like you do here, breakfast and lunch. Esperamos ahora implementar desayunos, almuerzos, to have breakfast, to have, um, lunch. Y, y esperamos eh, utilizar la tecnología como lo usan acá. Going to try to use technology the way you're using it here. In Bemidji, I'm Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. The delegation also visited the Kellier School District today. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.